We just spent three spiritual days meditating with monks in the mountains of Northern Thailand. And this was our experience. Welcome to Pape Meditation Retreat Center, located in the lush green mountains of Northern Thailand. This place provides serene and peaceful environment for those looking to deepen their meditation practice and reconnect with themselves. Immersed in the nature, you will find yourself in a perfect environment for reflection and contemplation. Now, let us show you how a world-renowned meditation retreat, where days are spent living simple and close to Buddhist monks, look like. You've probably noticed that everyone is wearing the same white clothes. These are given to you and you are required to wear them throughout the whole retreat. The purpose is to create a sense of unity and equality among the participants, regardless of their social status, wealth or background. But as Pape is located in the mountains of Northern Thailand and the temperatures can sometimes drop to as low as 10 degrees Celsius, come prepared with a sweater and good socks. Morning and evening meditations tends to get pretty chilly. Now you know what you will be wearing. Let's dive into the activities that awaits you. In the early morning hours, the main hall comes alive with the sound of chanting and meditation. The atmosphere is peaceful and serene with only a soft glow of candlelight signaling the start of a new day. Those able to wake up for 5.30 a.m. morning session start the day with a short period of silent meditation. This allows participants to settle into calm and focused state of mind bringing stillness into mind as a first thing of upcoming day. We personally found it difficult to bring mind into stillness in such early hours. Our sleep pattern was off track and our body just keeps telling us that this is something unusual. And as we sometimes heard snores in the mob, we were sure it's not unusual only for us. However, the meditation is followed by chanting led by experienced monks. The language used in chanting is Pali, an ancient language used in Buddhist scriptures. The chants are designed to bring focus to the mind and create a sense of connection with the community. They are simple and repetitive, making them easy to follow and allowing participants to let go of distracting thoughts. Every day at 6.30 a.m. the monks of Pape Meditation Retreat Center embark on their alms round in the surrounding neighborhood. Alms round is a traditional Buddhist practice that involves the monks walking through the community to receive alms or donations of food. As the monks walk through the neighborhood, the local residents will often gather at the roadside to offer donations of food such as fruits, snacks or even cooked meals. The monks receive these offerings with a gratitude and offer blessings to the donors in return. You are welcome to join the monks on their alms round and assist them by carrying the donated food. You will have the chance to meet many friendly locals and even teach them a few words of your language. In the Buddhist tradition, monks are not allowed to handle money or go shopping for food. Instead, their only food source are the donations received on alms round. However, at Pape Retreat Center, there is also a kitchen run by locals who farm their vegetables and prepare food for the monks. This food is also considered a form of donation as it's given freely without the expectation of payment. This is the same kitchen that provides food for you, the retreat participants. The kitchen prepares a lot of food every day and you are very welcome to help with its preparation. Maybe you can even learn something about Thai cooking. Helping in the kitchen is a perfect chance to connect with others and appreciate the effort that goes into providing nutrition meals for everyone. Breakfast is a meal that everyone was looking forward the most. The meals are designed with the emphasis of fresh, locally sourced ingredients. You can choose from at least two dishes that are typically Thai, and each of them is also prepared in a vegetarian version. Additionally, there are always plenty of fresh and steamed vegetables, providing a healthy and nutritious source of vitamins and minerals. Once everyone gathered around donated food, the monks will chant a short prayer or blessing, expressing gratitude for the food and acknowledging the efforts of those who contributed to its preparation. Just stick to the rules and don't take any food that is given specifically to monks. They eat only at their tables, use their own cutlery and eat food specially made for them. There's a lot of free time after breakfast. Actually, there's a lot of free time throughout the whole day as you're not obliged to attend any activities. It's just up to you what you prefer to do with your time. But if you are lucky, you may witness a hair shaving ritual where aspiring monks are completely shaved by senior monks and you too. Cutting hair of a fellow retreat goer, knowing that his life is about to change dramatically, is something you will remember for the rest of your life. 
It also reminds the monk to focus on cultivating inner qualities such as compassion, wisdom and mindfulness rather than focusing on external appearances that are impermanent and have a fleeting nature. The whole ceremony is powerful and moving experience for both monks and the retreat participants. In case of no special events, senior monks are eager to share their knowledge during midday guided meditation and wisdom talk that happen in a moon hall, a beautiful wooden open air hall where you'll be accompanied by only the sound of birds and jungle, and some friendly dogs that made me a jump when they disturbed me in the middle of my meditation. But back to the point, this is a practice that you need to attend if you are a beginner meditator. Senior monks will focus on one specific meditation technique and explain it in depth. They will give you easy to follow instructions on how this technique can be utilized to achieve stillness of mind. We found this time, setting and place best for our meditation. We were wide awake, not hungry and the preparation talk set us in a perfect vibe for a successful meditation practice. This is the only group practice where you will receive guidance of how you could meditate. The early morning meditation and evening meditation assume that you can already successfully meditate on your own. Besides this practice, there are only these three amazing books that you will receive on arrival that hide majority answers to your questions regarding meditation. As the bell rang across the whole retreat center, smiles came to our face because lunch was ready. Similar to the breakfast, the lunch menu typically features curries, rice dishes and soups accompanied by numerous types of homegrown fresh vegetables. Variety of fresh fruits such as pineapple, watermelon or bananas is also present, offering a perfect sweet dot after lunch. Honestly, the meals at Pape Meditation Retreat were some of the best we've had in the whole Thailand. We often found ourselves filling a second or even a third plate as this is the last provided meal of the day. But don't worry, there's a cafe in the village with amazing cakes, shop with a lot of snacks or a cheap local restaurant that can save you from hunger. Then comes afternoon that you can spend the way you like it. For example, by taking good, really good Thai massage. For only 150 baht, you can get voluntarily beaten for an hour, but for a good reason. This lady knows what she's doing. Her precise movements with palms, fingers, thumbs, elbows or even knees apply pressure and stretch your muscle and joint exactly where you need it. By applying deep pressure on parts of your body, the lady will detect any areas that have too much tension, releasing it and giving you stretching advices to prevent further health issues. She knew that we are working too much on our computers by pressing one single muscle near thumb. And let me tell you, we haven't felt a bigger pain in a while. What we absolutely loved was how the whole retreat center was immersed into nature. Many beautiful tree houses and swings are scattered throughout the grounds and provided us with a peaceful setting for relaxation, meditation and disconnection. This is one of our most favorite spots, big tree swing in the middle of center. With each sway of the swing, we felt our worries disappear and being replaced with a pure joy. Here we could spend hours swinging and enjoying the view. To enjoy quiet time, we couldn't ask for a better place than a tree house overlooking the lush green jungle of Northern Thailand. Even with a lot of participants, you can have a whole tree house just to yourself. There are so many of them. Just be aware, if you want to have the best possible views, although it's smoky season, that's happening each year from late February throughout April. During this time, the skies will be obfuscated in smoke. Sunset Hall, hall with the best view and our most favorite. This special place is located about a 10 minute walk from the center. Its big open air windows provide spectacular views over the surrounding forests and mountains. We found this place to be ideal for yoga or acro yoga. With sound of nature so pure and a greenery all around us, we could deeply focus on all movements on our body. In the evening, as the sun sets behind the mountains, the sky is illuminated with a stunning array of colors, creating a truly magical and unforgettable experience. As the day draws to a close and the sun begins to set, we gathered once again in the main hall. Evening practice begins with a period of chanting led by senior monks. Take a good seat, open chanting book and let the chants calm your mind before the inner work that is to come. As the last chants leave the room silent, peace and stillness descends, creating a perfect space for meditation. At the brink of a darkness, we could really feel the morning wake-up time. However, meditating before sleep led to us being more relaxed and calm. 
combined with a 5 a.m. alarm, we fell asleep within seconds into crashing into the hard rock beds. Yes, that's probably the only thing that we didn't like there. Beds that felt like solid rocks. Overall, Pape Meditation Retreat offered us an unparalleled experience. Being away from our phones and social media was truly liberating and we were so surprised at how little we missed it. With a diverse range of activities, we were never bored. Even if the group meditation times didn't suit us, we still learned how being present lets us appreciate simple moments in life. How embracing the now takes away anger, jealousy and anticipation, creating inner peace and happiness. It surprised us how available it is to become a monk in this center and how many people choose to leave everything behind in order to be monks on a regular basis. There is no fixed price for this retreat, rather a suggested donation of 500 baht per day. This covers your lodging and food. But it's common to see travelers spending here much more time than we did, even volunteering for multiple weeks, receiving a discounted rate for their stay. That was our experience at Pape Meditation Retreat Center. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. But that's all for this video, my friends. We have some new places to see. See you somewhere else. Goodbye. Bye-bye.